for this time, I'm going to use a cropping tool. So I'm going to take a look at how much you want to include. Should we go a little bit higher or lower than this? You want to spend a few minutes to decide on if this is what you want before you move on to the next step. So, all right, I'm going to set it like this. I'm going to use the Sharpie to draw the outline. Okay, like this. Now, this is the composition. So based on this, transfer that ideas onto our final drawing paper. So I'm going to, the chin over here, so I'm going to draw the outside, the chin right over here, right? So the top of the hair, the hair kind of a little fluffy at the top. So I'm not going to go by the top of the hair at the top over here. Instead, I'm going to go with the hair band, okay? So horizontal all the way coming over here, like this is the hair band right here, right? Now we're going to take a look. If we're going to divide the head to four, like each one is a quarter, one, two, three, four. And take a look at the top. At the top, actually, a little bit more than a quarter, as you see, right? A little bit more than a quarter. That's just good. At the bottom over here, it looks like we're going to take this three quarter and moving down over here. A little bit less than three quarter. So basically, this and this together and to make up another half of the full length. Analyze it by number. Let's take a look at the width of the face. And I'm going to take a look at, maybe we're going to take a look at the, the left side, not include the ear. I'm going to put it over here. And on the right side, not include the ear. How does that look like? Wow, so the face is right at the center. But obviously, the face is take less than half of the whole width. We're going to put it on the side. And then we're going to put it onto the drawing paper. All right, I'm going to open it up. This is only a regular drawing paper from Atissa. Where is the top over here? I'm going to draw a line making sure that is the top of your paper. Right? Now we're going to take a look. The width of the paper, uh, the face is about, about this much. Looks like. Because together, it actually less than half. It looks like a proportionally about right. But we're going to decide on it based on the height of the face, which is proximally locked down the location of this. So we need to do that step by step. And the height, we're going to get a little bit serious. Now we're going to take this, the, this almost the whole height. A uh, half of it, we're going to find out what's the half. We're going to find that, put a mark over here, half. I'm not sure this is the half. I'm going to mark it over here. And moving it down. Oh. That's a little bit more than a half. So I'm going to put over here, the middle of this two, that's the half. So what we're going to do, we're going to find out the whole half is how long is half of the height. Now I'm going to mark it over here, this half. This is actually the height of the face from the hair band to the chin. We're not going to put it right from the top over here. We're going to put it a little bit lower. Right, we're gonna put it right over here. The hairband is about over here. That's assuming it. And then we put over here, that's just the chin. And this would be three quarter. That's the bottom over here. Take a three quarter. Obviously we left a little bit more than three quarter. Oh, no, actually a little bit less than three quarter. So, and the top over here, a little bit more than one quarter. We know that this is the hairband. That's just the chin. Now we know where's the chin, where's the hairband. And then we're going to find out what's the width of the face. So you have to do step by step when you're doing portrait drawing. If you want to be free to drawing just freely, you got to go through serious measurement and step by step. What is this, the ratio between the hairband to the chin compared to the width of the top of the eye 
is a little bit lower, but it's right about at the middle. So it just do the measurement right here, right? So you find, oh, it's a little bit lower than the middle point. You have to find out what's the middle point. Find out where's the eyebrow, it's the eye. Because after you have that, you're gonna find out the nose, the mouth, vertically. We have to find those. You cannot avoid it. The top of the eye, very close to the eyebrows. The eyebrows right over here, right in the top over here. We're not sure yet. It just put a little mark over here. That's the eyebrows right on the top over here. Next thing I want to find out, this is just the eyebrows. I'm going to find out whether or not the nose, it actually is a halfway to the chin. So I'm going to do this, make a little mark, all right? This is the eyebrows. And this is the middle of the eyebrows. I'm going to move it down over here. Oh, not quiet. We're going to do the top of the eyebrows. The top of the eyebrows, you have to try it, say the top of the eyebrows to which one is a little bit more convenient for you. So you just want to find out the truth. Doesn't really matter who give it to you. I'm going to take this and bring it down over here. That's very much to the bottom of the chin. To the top of the eyebrows, I have to put it over here. It's not over here, right? So over here to here, I'm going to cut it into half. After you do it a while, you're going to have lots of technique and shortcut to find it. Now I'm gonna mark it over here. I'm not sure that this is the middle. So I'm gonna double check. Always double check and coming over here. Oh, a little bit lower than that. So this is not right. And actually it should be a little bit higher. So I'm gonna put it over here, right? Be really serious at their measurement because you cannot say A is about it, it's all right and then it ended up to be unsatisfied. This is exactly half. So I'm gonna double check on this side. It actually exactly half or not? I'm gonna double check on that. And right over here, right? So I'm gonna put it down over here. Oh yeah, it's, it's half. That means this line is lined up with the nostrils. We just find vertical. We cannot do two things at once because it's gonna mess you up very quickly. Now the next thing we're gonna do, because this is the eye, top of the eye, the bottom of the eye is about over here, right? You recognize that. Now let's take a look at the mouth. Do you know what? I think that about in the middle of the lower lip is just the middle point. So we're gonna find it, find it out. Now I'm gonna take a little measurement like take a look over here from the notch from over there. I'm going to put over here the middle of the lower lip. I'm going to move it down over here, the middle lip. Oh, exactly. That's just good. If we find the middle point, that will be the middle of the lower lip. Okay. A little bit, little by little, just follow the step. You're going to trust the system a little more. Like this is perfect. So that means the lower lip is right here, right? I think at the bottom of the lower lip divides the half, that is the upper lip. So that's just good. So I'm going to erase those. That's good. Now from the bottom of here, divide into the half. So that is, is the upper lip. So the, the mouth will look like this. Right? It's pretty easy. Now we're assuming it. So with a little bit for the upper lip, like that. Don't draw too hard at this point. We try to find out the truth. So vertically, how high is the eye supposed to be? And we're gonna find out from here, from the upper eyelid, and the eye over here, I'm gonna divide it and two and three. Well, do you know what? It's about one third. The height of the eye is one third. So from here to the nose, we're gonna divide into three. So it looks like the height of the eye can be even more. So we can do it on both sides. Okay. That's the bottom of the eye now. That's, that's the top of the eye. That's the bottom of the eye. Like from here to the bottom of the eye and then two more and get to the bottom of the nose. So that means this, this high is the eye. Now this is very important. 
Now we find out the height. Well, how we find the proportion. Now the next thing we're going to find out is find out the width. Now this is good. The width is already proportionary to the height of the head from the hairband to the chin. We can go ahead to divide the horizontal space. Let's take a look. Usually there's five eyes, but in this case, one, two, one, two, three. Looks like the side of the face is the same as the eye, the width of the eye. But in the middle over here, it actually take almost like a one and one third of the eye. That's just the space in between. So roughly, we're going to divide it. Now first, we're going to add the middle center line over here. Okay, just for a better practice, we're going to draw a very soft line coming down like this. That's the center line. Roughly, we first going to divide this like at the left over here. That's not. Now we need to make the center a little bit more and move it a little bit more to this side like this. Are you with me? Right here. Right now, proportionally, it's about correct because this is one, two, three, four in the middle, about one and one third, one and one third of this. So if you double check if this is correct, and that way, the eye is actually sitting right here. You see that? You don't want to draw too details at this point. It's sitting right over here. There's one eye, right? There's another eye. Remember we talk about this is the top of the eye, not the center of the eye. Like this. Right there. That's one eye. There's another eye. In the middle, it has more than one eye space. And like this. Like this. You don't want to pay too much attention to the detail of the eye. There's the corner of the eye right over here. There's the corner of the eye right over here. Double check. It always looks like, oh, there's too much space over here. Actually, that is correct. Trust yourself. Because every step you need to pay full attention to make sure is that step is solid. Now, this is good. Now, let's take a look at the nose. The nose based on the eye space. You can take a look at that. It's actually the left side and the right side of the nose very much look like the same. It's a little bit smaller. If you don't trust yourself, take a look. It's just a little bit smaller, right? On this side, do you see that? If you do your own measurement, a little bit. Put it close. So I'm going to put it down over here a little bit, very close to the eye, but not really at the eye. So I'm going to put it over here. And by seeing the center line, you can see that there should be the left side and the right side is the same, like that. So it's just a little bit smaller. So this is the nose on this side. And the nostril was sitting about here. Okay, that's the nose. Now we take a look at the corner of the mouth. The corner of the mouth look like the corner over here. The corner of the mouth vertically coming up is about right over here. Just get in a little bit the iris. So I'm going to have this coming down. That's the corner of the mouth. What about on this side? Can you see that? As also come in, this corner looks like a little bit outer. So about here. I'm going to move this down vertically. That's the corner. So that means this mouth all the way coming over here and meet at the corner over here and coming back like that. Okay, now this is good. Much better that the shape of the mouth we can define a little bit better like a right over here, like that, right? Is right now still look very generic. After you define the inside perks, now you can finally define the outline of the face. But you don't want to do the outline of the face too early. The outline of the face would define easier after you seeing the distance between inside the nose, the mouth, all those. So we're going to look at over here. It's important to generalize. So where does that look like? So it's from the corner of the eye, 
over here on the sideburn, it actually looks like there is an angular line. So if you have two sticks, that will be really helpful. So I'm going to find another stick coming over here. See that? I'm going to find out exactly the same angle. Okay. Make sure it's the same angle right over here, right? Take a look. It's the same angle. Yeah, it's about the same angle. Now we are going to move the line coming down all the way coming down over here like that. So you see that? You see a little line coming down all the way. Now, as soon as it gets down to close to the level of the mouth, start moving curve and come a little bit, little by little, and find out the true. Right over here, coming in is good. Coming on the bottom over here, a little bit flat. Now the flat coming over here and on the other side. So basically here is close to, looks like a straight line. Very much like a straight line from here to here, just coming in a little bit and that's it. Now we're looking on the other side, what does it look like? I'm going to look at it oh, over here. There is almost like a straight line, a little bit, uh, a whole straight line over there. So I'm going to take a look at the corner of the mouth over here, right? So be patient because uh, draw a portrait, find out the proportion. It really need to go through the process to measure it out. Okay. I'm going to have this angle coming down like this. Okay. That's good. And start over here, right here it, on this side, looks like a little bit higher than the corner of the mouth, like over here. Are you going to start a little bit curve and coming through over here like that? And then look like a little bit slower. Now this, the bottom over here looks like a straight line too. And all the way hitting the chin. Now we're going to looking at the corner of the ear. It looks like a triangle. And the top over here is a line up with the top of the eye, even a little bit higher right over here like this. Right, and now we're gonna look at, if you want to look at the angle like here. Now here you go. It's look like this angle. So this is the shape of the ear. On the other side is the same, like from here, right? Coming up over here. Now the rest, I'm gonna find out, this is very easy. From the, from the shoulder over here, from this angle, connecting to the corner of the mouth. Yeah, you want, you want to have two sticks so you can connect that over the same angle like this. That's become the same angle. A little bit lower than that. And right over here, that's the shoulder. And what about on this side? Uh, this side coming up to the nose because actually that's not the real shoulder as, the, as well as the other side. It's not. I'm looking for the same angle, like that, right? Same angle. Now I'm going to draw this line right over here. Okay, little by little. And now we're going to look at the real shoulder, uh, the real neck over here. And it's coming up here to the corner of the mouth. And the corner of the mouth, right over here. I'm looking for the same angle. This, the same angle, like that. I'm going to draw a little bit like that. Okay, that's good. And we move that. So that is just the neck connected to the shoulder. So you can see, oh, that's good. Now this would be the curve line showing the top of the dress, like over here. Now here is very close to, if you draw this a little angle over here, it put it close to like extended coming down. It would hit this like that. Right, little by little, be patient. And now I'm going to find out how wide is this compared with any part that we already measure and uh, what we are already measure. And I'm not sure. Oh, uh, do you know what? The left side of the mouth to the right side of the mouth, give it a little bit wider than that. And we can find out this is the size. So I'm going to put this into here a little bit wider than that. I'm going to find out from here to here and actually coming all the way here, right? Now this is good. Now, and 
now we can see the shoulder turning from here. Yeah, this much space. Yeah, like that. Coming down and coming down. And here you go. Coming over there. Now we also can double check on whether or not the left side shoulder and the right side shoulder, we're going to check it. Maybe check it over here from the dress over here to this dress to see whether or not we can relate to anywhere from the head. So always double check and checking across different places. Let's take a look. Interesting. Do you guys see that? Isn't that amazing? The hairband to the chin, it goes to from the left side or to the right side. Who arranged that? We don't know. Okay. I guess the mom. Okay, we're going to take this side. The right over here. We're going to double check. If this is not changing. Oh, there's something wrong. The, the right side probably only here. So we're going to get our boat a little bit. Okay, I'm going to this side. And this side will be here. So that means the previous measurement is not right. The right side is not star over here. It starts from here. So it's always double check before it's too late. Okay, always double check like that. So that means the shoulder need to get out a little bit more. Are you with me? Okay, like that. Do you get it right? And you want to double check with your drawing. Okay, you don't want it just assuming it. You're assuming it's fine. Assuming it is the starting point. But you have to check. You have to check. Okay, wait a minute. Is that right? It's actually, this is the correct place. Like over here. Now, here you go. Now, I'll make a little curve. And like that. Almost there. That's good. Now I'm going to have a little bit outside, like here. Now the shoulder, now coming, turning. A little curve coming over here, and then moving out. But we still need going to check that. I don't really trust that yet. Okay? Like that. This is very important. So I'm going to find out the proportion. You find out the proportion on your photo reference. Find out the relationship. I'm going to find out the left side over here, right? You see me? and to the right side over here, like that. I'm going to find out where exactly it is. Oh my God, almost the top of the page. From here, if you go to the chin, like this. So I'm going to find out it's about here. That means about here. I'm going to put the mark over here. This is to the chin. It goes to the left shoulder, to the right shoulder, and the outside, uh, the arm. Okay, now over here to here. Now it's correct. Oh, we're pretty safe. Now it's just right. Everything you need to check and double check. And now we're going to see the bow. The bow over here and can should be come down over here. And in this case, it make the bow a little bit bigger, smaller, lower and higher. It doesn't really affecting the likeness. Is that this is okay. It's not really that much. I'm going to draw over here, cut out a little bit over here. And if you want, you can have uh, the bow a little bit bigger if you want. You say that, oh, I'm going to make the bow a little bit bigger. That will look better. That you can do that. That's okay. Like this. Okay, that's good. It's pretty cute. Okay, now. I think we are pretty good. Now we're going to connect a little bit line like that and showing there's the edge okay and on this side a little bit higher coming in over here there's a little bit over here like that so this is what we can find out that is the hard work measurement the first thing we're going to do we're going to divide the shadow side and the face how are we going to do that because we already know the space over here right and we already know the space on this side. Do you see this? It's coming over here. We're just going to draw it a very soft line right over here. We're not looking for the transition. We're looking for like a whole shape, like over here. I think from here all the way coming over here to make that portion to become one shape. Can you do that? Do it with me. The next thing I'm going to do uh, you're going to see this is just the dividing line between the lights and the shadow side. 
because it's so easy. You can see that, oh, it's about it. There's transition. So really softly making a little shadow is not good enough. We need to force it into the light side and the shadow side before we're looking at the transition. Transition, we're going to deal with that next step. As it looks like a straight line for the shadow, right at the corner of that, the straight line. Look at the same angle, right? It's very important, same angle. I'm going to draw a little line coming down like this. So this is the shadow side from the corner over here, from the shadow side coming down all the way over here. You get that? And the bottom over here, you see a little bit over here. Lots of people, I'm not going to divide this. It make it look like too harsh, too ugly. No, if you want to make the girl look pretty, divide it. Divide this shape and looking for the angle of the inside over here, making sure you follow the same angle. And looks like this is like a triangle. Right over here, like that. And look at the side of the mouth. There's the center over here has a small soft shape. But on this side, I can see that right here. That is another shadow. Let's take a look. I'm going to start from the hair over here. I'm going to come in down. I'm going to fill it into the whole shadow area. Like that. See that? I'm going to fill it in the shadow area. 